Well, good evening again, folks, and uh, welcome again to the uh, More Summer 2020 uh, Adventures Day 92. It's September the 25th, 2020, and had a very enjoyable and relaxing day. Uh, a few of the pictures that I'm posting are just right here around Bisbee, and uh, some of the mountains, in fact, most of the mountains that you'll see being posted are actually across the border in Mexico. Uh, except the two sunset pictures, and they're uh, they're in Arizona, um, over towards Sur Vista, towards Fort Huachuca. Um, it's a pretty sunset tonight. Yeah. Uh, I took them from the back seat of my daughter's uh, car, and so I got. To, <laughs> unfortunately, I got part of the uh, rearview mirror in it, but uh, it's still a pretty picture. Uh, but the other mountains, uh, let's see, there was one that's got the uh, uh, shaft, the, the the tower for the uh, cables. Excuse me for the for the uh, cages to go down the shaft, the mine shaft. That one is right here in Bisbee. The two with the or two or three with the sunsets, or towards the west, towards Sierra Vista, and the rest of the pictures, uh, mountain pictures, are in uh, um, across the border. I didn't go across the border. No, the border's closed. But uh, besides, I don't have a passport. I wouldn't get back. Um, took them uh, while we were going to dinner tonight. Uh, and those are in uh, in Mexico. Um, I had a enjoyable day. Um, of course, uh, as I told you the other day, you know, had to take the RV over to uh, over to Servicio, which is about fifty miles away. Got it serviced, everything, all the fluid levels and all that, topped off, oil chains, you know, all that kind of stuff. And four new tires on the rear. Okay, um, so we should be good. I mean, we replaced the two front ones in Grants Pass uh, back in April, uh, August, and today the two, the four back ones. So we should be good on tires and oil uh, until we get home uh, in 30, 31 days. Okay. Um, later. Um, but, uh, you know, after I got back, then uh, it was mostly just spend time with our daughter. She had come out for the. Uh, for mom's uh, internment and whatnot. So today was just a relaxing day and spend time with her daughter before she flies back in the morning. She's already left, gone to Tucson. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, she's already gone uh, for now. And uh, she'll be flying back uh, to uh, the East Coast in the morning. But other than that, folks, uh, you know, hey, some of the pictures, uh, there's a little uh, diner and it's called Dots. Uh, right here in the, in the, almost in the center of Bisbee actually. But, uh, the way Bisbee is, there's old Bisbee up on the mountain on the other side of the, uh, copper pit. Then there's Laurel and then there's Warren and then there's, uh, San, uh, San Jose, which is where my sister lives. It's all part of, of, of Bisbee, but there's a section, a section, a section, a section. So anyway, up here in the middle section <laughs> is uh, is Dot's Drive-In, our diner. And, uh, you know, uh, got some pictures of it and just sit out there. And it's at Shady, uh, Shady Grove. Isn't that Grove, Mom? Yep. Um, and it used to be a motel and uh, trailer park. Well, the new owners a couple of years ago, and I may have said this back in, in July when we were here the first time of this trip. Um, they took the trailers and, and you know, they, they bought them out and closed the trailer park, and now it's it's part of the motel. But each one of the trailers, uh, and, and there's some vintage ones, there's some vintage uh, Airstreams, and, and just a lot of, of, of old trailers. They went in and refurbished them, and each the interior of each trailer is a different um, theme. It could be Old West, it could be the beach, it could be the mountains, it could be the desert. You know, they're all a different theme inside the trailer. Looking at it, you'd never know, because you know. But uh, kind of neat, and that's right there where where Dot's Diner is. So, you know, that was. And, and so you got pictures of that, not inside the trailers, but, uh, you know, the trailers. And then, uh, of course, we went tonight uh, 
Jody, my niece, and, and her family came over, um, and we met at a place halfway between here and there, um, you know, and had a, 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 had dinner, and then, you know, everybody said goodbye to, to my daughter, you know, Jean, and, uh, so she got on the road, um, you know, Mark, um, my nephew, Jody's husband, uh, he went out with his oldest son. Uh, his oldest son got one, one of those once in a lifetime tags for bighorn sheep. And so uh, they were out scouting and they saw some and they sent some pictures and got some nice rams where they're hunting. So hopefully uh, in a couple of weeks when when the season starts, uh, John will be able to get one. Good luck to you, John. So other than that, folks, uh, you know, a very calm day, you know, relaxing day. You know, and it was just uh, spending time with our daughter and, you know, letting the daughter... Uh, well, while I went to Sierra Vista, they went the opposite direction where Chrissy lived when I met her, uh, 50 miles the other direction. And uh, Chrissy was able to show our daughter where she lived when we met and where she went to school and, with, you know, the old town and, and everything. And, you know, um, we moved... My parents moved here uh, August 73 to Bisbee from University of Colorado and Chrissy and her family moved from Bisbee to Douglas in July of 73. It was just a month before we moved here. So she was living in Douglas. I was living here where she had lived since they moved here when she was in second grade. So <laughs> whatever. <laughs> but uh, it gave uh, Chrissy and, and, and Jeannie a, a chance to, to spend some Mother daughter time together and, and let Chrissy show uh, uh, Jeannie uh, some of her, the old spots. But having said all that, folks, it was like I say, you know, not a whole lot of news today, not a whole lot going on, you know, um, you know, a lot of decompressing, I guess, really, you know, from all the emotions and everything of the closure from yesterday. And that's all good. Okay. And we can move forward. All right. And speaking of moving forward, let's get on with the scripture, okay? It's Second Timothy 3, 16 and 17. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work, Okay? And then, you know, some of the short versions, you know. Uh, all scriptures breathe down to God for the profitable teaching, reproof, and correction, and training for righteousness. You know, there's another one here that I really liked. All scripture is God breathed, you know. And then here's another one that's all scripture is inspired by God and is useful to teach us what is true and to make us realize what is wrong in our lives okay and so uh those were the uh the scriptures today and and then the various different short versions and you know um there have been many okay um individuals and we're talking about learned scholars you know those individuals with multiple alphabets, multiple letters of the alphabet behind their name, okay, that have gone to disprove the Bible and saying, well, it was, you know, it was just stories handed down and it was just, you know, legends. And, you know, there's no real proof. And every time they have gone to prove the Bible, they have failed. And you say, well, no, you know, the, the, the scripture says it was this. And the world is this many years old, so how could that have happened? You know, my brother-in-law made a comment the other day. He says, you know, before the earth was formed, it was without form it was void okay and then he created the heavens and he created the earth created the heavens first okay and then he created the seas and the land all right 
So for a period of time, right there in Genesis, you know, this rock that we live on was just a rock. All right? So if you want to do all your carbon-14 or whatever the kind of new uh, uh, registering or measuring of the age of a rock on this planet, it's possible that you could come up with some because that rock was before the land and the sea. It's just a, a tidbit to throw out there. Now, I'm not a scholar. I'm not going to say that was really what it was or wasn't. All right? But uh, even... Even when they tried to do the moon landings, the lunar landings, before they sent man up there, and it was just, you know, uh, we crash landed a couple there, and then we started taking pictures as they come in and crashed and whatnot. They kept missing it. They kept missing it by a couple of days, and all the numbers were correct. Right? Then there was an astronomer or astrolog astronomer that 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 astrologer that remembered some old Sunday school lessons about a couple of times in scripture where the sun stood still. So he put those time periods into the equation and imagine that it come up correct. Okay? So, um, and I'm, I'm not going to get into online or offline a debate on whether the Bible is true or not. I'm a believer. I believe the Word of God is the inspired Word of God. Okay? You may humbly disagree with me, and that's fine. Okay? That's one of those reasons why I served 22 years in the Corps, to give you your right to your opinion. But you're not going to change my opinion. Okay? Because I know who my Lord and Savior is, and I know who God is, and I know He's the God of the Bible, and the Bible is His inspired word okay 66 books in the bible you know uh many different authors but all inspired by god okay so you know all scripture is given by inspiration of god and is profitable for the doctrine and reproof correction and instruction in righteousness that the man of god us may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. You know? And uh, I've, I've heard a number of times on the radio, uh, one of the stations I listen to, about the Bible. And, uh, you know, it says here that uh, for instruction in righteousness, that man may be complete and thoroughly equipped for every work. You know, the Bible is basic instruction before leaving earth. All right. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night.